2025 Complete Guide for App Optimization. Hi everyone, I am Anna and today we are diving into ASO in 2025. How to make your app visible and successful in the App Store and Google Play. There are now over 4 million apps across App Store and Google Play and competition has never been tougher. Even a great app can stay invisible if it's not optimized properly. That's why ASO in 2025 is no longer optional, it's a must. And today I'll show you how to make your app visible and competitive. Here's what we cover today. What ASO actually is and why it's so important. How search in App Store and Google Play really works. Key elements like keywords, visuals, ratings and reviews tips for localization and custom store pages, the most common ASO mistakes and myths, and finally, how to track your results and grow your installs. By the end, you'll know exactly how to boost your installs and outsmart the competition. What is ASO and why it's so important? ASO or App Store optimization is the process of making your app page in the store as clear as appealing as possible for the algorithms and for users. On the one hand, when people search for something in the store, such as video editor or fitness app, ASO helps your app appear in those results. On the other hand, it helps users quickly see what your app does and how it solves their problems and why they should download it. ASO has two key goals. First, visibility. It means helping users discover your app through relevant keywords. And conversion means convincing them to install once they visit your page. This combination makes ASO one of the most stronger organic growth strategies for apps. A well-optimized page means you are not just relying on advertising, your text and visuals work together to attract the right users and convert visit into actual installs. ASO and SEO People often compare ASO and SEO. Yes, both aim for organic growth, but there are key differences. Unlike ASO, SEO works with websites. It optimizes text, structure and links to help a website rank higher in Google search results. ASO, on the other hand, works with mobile apps in the App Store and Google Play. It's about optimizing text elements on your app page, title, subtitle, descriptions, also known as metadata, and even reviews to boost visibility and convince users to install. In simple terms, SEO drives traffic to websites, while ASO drives installs for apps. Don't use SEO tools for apps. People search very differently in app stores. There are special ASO tools and many of them are even free. You'll find a step-by-step -step tutorial on our channel how to use one of them ASO Mobile. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you like to try the paid features, use the promo code ASOGROW to get 30% off. Key ASO elements ASO has two main aspects – textual and visual. Those are what make your ASO strategy successful. Text help your app get noticed, while visual elements convince users to install it. If you missed even of them, your ASO simply won't work as effectively as it could. Text optimization Keywords are the foundation of ESO. They determine which search queries your app will appear for. For example, photo editor, budget tracker, and so on. In 2026, the focus is shifting even more toward long-tail keywords, longer, more specific phrases with lower competition and high-quality traffic. Each store indexes different metadata. App Store indexes title, subtitle, and hidden keyword field. Google Play indexes title, short description, and full description. The key principle is simple. Your texts must be based on solid keyword research, relevant to your audience and locale, and regularly updated to stay competitive. We also have a step-by-step -step video on keyword research. Check it out for a full walkthrough. Visual optimization. Texts bring users to your store page. Visuals make them install. Visuals are the first thing users see in the store. They shape what first impression in seconds. Your icons should do the job instantly, simple, constantly, and recognizable. No teeny text, no clutter, just something clean what stands out and tells what your app is about. 
Right up the icon, screenshots continue the story. Think of them as mini banners, especially the first two, which appear directly in search results. They should immediately show your app's value, capacity A's, a strong message and the key features that make your app unique. To make it even more engaging, add a short video. 15 to 30 seconds is enough. Show real gameplay or real app usage, make it feel alive and dynamic. And size trends change all the time, always think about seasonality and A-B testing. Update visuals for holidays or special campaigns, test different versions and see what actually performs better. In short, text attract, visuals convert. Together, they form the heart of ASO, and in 2025, you can't build a successful app strategy without carefully optimizing both. Let's look at how app stores actually work, because understanding this is key. App Store and Google Play may look similar on the surface, but their algorithms are completely different. What works for iOS often won't work for Android. That's why every ASO strategy should be tailored to each platform individually. Moreover, search behavior is different not only between the web and app stores, but even between the stores themselves, the App Store, Google Play and other app stores. And that's something you really need to consider when doing keyword research. The same keyword can have very different popularity in each store. And that's completely normal, because the audience, algorithms, competition and localization are all different. iOS users are actually higher spending and more brand-oriented. They search for exact names, like Canva or Fitbit. Google Play users are more diverse. They often type general phrases like photo editor free or games offline. But how do you know which keywords actually work in each store? Just check their popularity on ASO platforms. In ASO Mobile, you can do it for free with the keyword check tool. The algorithms also work differently. The App Store measures only what happens inside its own search, while Google Play takes into account trends, search history and regional data. When there is competition and categories. In Google Play, you might have dozens of free fitness apps. In the App Store, just a few big brands. That changes how users search and what keywords become popular. And of course, localization matters. In the US, iOS dominates. In Spain, it's Android, for example. Even the same language, keyword fragrantly can be completely different. So, the takeaway is simple. Do keyword research separately for the App Store and Google Play or other app stores. Because user's behavior and how each store ranks apps are completely different. You'll find detailed videos on our channel that how to optimize your app for each platform, both Google Play and the App Store. Localization and additional locales. Localization is another major factor. In ASO, it's not just about translating text. It's about adapting your app page, language, visuals and even culture details to truly connect with users in each market. Proper localization increases conversion, boosts organic visibility and helps your app grow without extra ad spend. Here's how it works. In the App Store, each country can have multiple indexable locales. For example, the US includes English, Spanish, Mexico, Portuguese, Brazil. This means you can multiple your keyword coverage by distributing keywords across locales. Just remember, keyword combinations only work within one locale. Additional locales help you expand, reach and distribute keywords between different language versions. Google Play works differently. Each language equals one locale, no additional ones. But you can still localize effectively using custom store listing for different countries or user segments. Visuals matter too. Localize screenshots and promo videos, translate CTAs, update currency, adapt dates and culture symbols. Visual localization isn't just about translating your app's text, it's about making your visuals feel native to each market. The same image that looks perfect in one country may feel totally off in other. For example, in Arabic countries, visuals should be more modest and respectful. In Japan, users love expressive anime style design with bright colors. And in Western markets, clean and minimal visuals usually work best.
when you visualize much local culture, users instantly feel more connected and are more likely to download your app. So don't forget, design is communication too. A well-localized screenshot can sometimes do more than a translated title. Localization is a strategic growth tool. On iOS, it expands your reach through multiple locals. On Google Play, it helps you fine-tune your message for every audience. In both cases, it directly improves visibility and conversion. Ratings and reviews And finally, don't forget ratings and reviews. They appear before the users even open your page and strongly influence their decision. They influence everything – your app's visibility, conversion rate, and users' trust – even before someone opens your page. Here's how it works. In App Store, Apple's algorithm doesn't do to rank apps by reviews, but users do. Apps with a rating above 4.5 stars get downloaded way more often. It's pure psychology. In Google Play, reviews are fully indexed, meaning keywords inside user reviews can literally help your app appear in search results. But a low rating will quickly drop your visibility no matter how good your metadata is. And fact, over 80% of users read at least one review before installing. And apps related below 4 stars often don't even get a chance. So what can you do? Respond fast, especially to negative reviews, within 24-48 hours. Admit issues and show your care. Thank users for positive feedback and reuse those comments in your marketing. Ask for reviews smartly after a win, a purchase, or a completed task. Never write after install. Analyze reviews – there are a gold mine for insights and new keywords, especially on Google Play. Your goal – keep your rating above 4.5 stars and show users that you actually listen. Because every reply builds trust, and trust builds converts. Metrics, A-B testing, and conversion optimization ASO isn't just a one-time setup. Even the best keywords, screenshots, or icons stop working over time. The market changes, competitors update their pages, and users' behavior shifts. That's why ASO is an ongoing process built on testing, analyzing, and improving. Here are the core ASO metrics you should always track. Visibility – how many keywords your app ranks for and where it appears in search results. Traffic – how many users see your app page and tap to open it. Conversion – CVR – how many users actually install after viewing. Retention and rating – how engaged your users are and how they rate your app. These numbers show not just your current performance, but where your growth potential really is. A-B testing in ASO A-B testing helps you test ideas before they go live, so you make data-driven decisions, not guesses. On Google Play, you have a built-in tool to test icons, screenshots, videos, and text versions. On the App Store, you can't run classic A-B tests, but you can use custom product pages or ad campaigns to test hypotheses. The golden rule – one test is one hypothesis. For example, a green icon gets more clicks than a blue one. Short punchy screenshot captions can increase in styles, for example. Keep it simple – test, learn, and repeat. So yes, we've got a video on that too. Head over to our channel and see how to run A-B tests like a pro. Conversion rate optimization Your conversion rate CVR, the percentage of users who install after visiting your page, is the heart of ASO. Even a small increase in CVR can bring hundreds or thousands of extra installs without spending more nets. Here's what often makes the biggest difference. Updating the first two screenshots – they drive most clicks. Refreshing your app icon – color, contrast, or style. Testing video previews – shorter, faster, more emotional, for example. Tweaking text to match user's intent. Doing seasonal updates, holidays, events… So, ASO works only when you measure, test, and adapt. Being flexible, fast, and experimental is a real advantage in 2025. Myth about ASO Even though ASO has been around it for years, there are still tons of myths about how it really works. Let's clear a few of them up. 
Myth 1. ASO is SEO. They are similar, but not the same. SEO is for websites, optimizing text, structure, and links. ASO is for apps, optimizing metadata, icons, screenshots, and reviews. Both aim for organic growth, but the tools and performs are completely different. Myth 2. The more keywords, the better. Nope. Keyword stuffing kills visibility. App stores care about relevance, not volume. In Google Play, too many repetitions can hurt your ranking. In the App Store, duplicates don't even count. Myth 3. The App Store description affects ranking. Not true. The iOS description is not indexed. It's just marketing. It helps with conversion, not visibility. Google Play, however, does index the long description. Myth 4. Ratings aren't that important. Actually, they are crucial. Apps within a rating below 4 stars often get ignored, while those above 4.5 stars see several times more installs. Users trust other users. Always. Myth 5. A great product will find its audience. If only it worked that way. Even amazing apps can stay invisible without optimization. With millions of competitors in the stores, ASO is what makes people not as you. Myth 6. You only need to do ASO once. ASO isn't said it and forget it. Keywords change, competitors' growth, algorithms evolve. To stay visible, you need to update regularly. Myth 7. Paid traffic replaces ASO. Paid ads can bring quick results, but short-term ones. Without a strong ASO base, you'll just pay in for installs that don't last. Good ASO actually makes your ads work better. Myth 8. Brand keywords aren't necessary. Even big brands should use branded keywords. They help secure top positions and protect you from competitors targeting your name. ASO is not magic, it's a system. And when you understand how it really works, you stop guessing and start growing. ASO in 2025 is no longer just about keywords, it's the core of every successful app strategy. With tougher competitors and smarter algorithms, even great apps can stay unnoticed without proper optimization. Here's what really matters. ASO drives organic growth and reduces ad dependence. Text and visuals must work together. Keywords attract, visuals convert. Ratings and reviews influence both ranking and trust. Localization opens global markets. ASO is a continuous process, not a one-time setup. Some trends to watch. Focus on user attention and engagement. Installs alone aren't enough. Strong visual branding and seasonal updates win attention. AI tools like ChatGPT speed up ideas, but analytics make the final call. Alternative stores like Huawei App Gallery or Galaxy Store are on the rise. ESO is the language your app speaks to both users and algorithms, and the clearer your message, the louder your app stands out among millions. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more ASO tips and insights.